In fact, it's looking at the individual impact that starts to link us into that third category, which is the socio-cultural factors. So part of our society and part of the way our society operates is also affected by things like our uh, obtaining and use of fossil fuels. So there may be issues around mining for a start, and so we have things like uh, debates around fracking, uh, the use of alternate power generation. So that would include um, things like renewables. It also includes things like uh, targets for greenhouse and so global warming and climate change. Uh, each of these is important factors and they're associated with the use of hydrocarbons and they are all things that we want to have a little bit of a look at in a bit more detail. I think if you've got a question that's related to this particular area, you want to make sure that you've got a number of different factors and you want to look at some specific examples too. So um, one nice one which we will be having a look at, particularly when we look at uh, polymers later in this particular module, is ethene. And it's not just that ethene is a gas at room temperature and therefore it's not a key component of something like crude oil, but through processes such as cracking, um, we can cut large hydrocarbons into smaller hydrocarbons and therefore increase our proportion of desired molecules like ethene, which can then be starter molecules for uh, alcohols and a range of different polymers. Find some good supporting evidence to help you with each of these disparate areas. And thanks for watching.